everybody it's analog and this Monday I really don't have a lot of news that's like new really it's kind of ironic new that's not new anyways um so far all I really have is um Shia LaBeouf got arrested and I believe it was Houston I know Randy Quaid got arrested um the whole Shia LaBeouf story kind of brings me brings me around to um I don't remember his name, and I know someone's going to be so uber pissed off that I don't remember who it was, that um, this other guy got arrested in Texas, in San Antonio, Texas, during Alamo City Comic Con. And my only question is, what exactly is it in Texas booze that makes people weird? And I'm not saying, like, people in general. I'm talking about, like, tourists. Because it's like, if you come in and out the state on a regular basis, like, that's cool. Obviously, you're immune to whatever fuckery it is that makes people go psycho and it causes like bar fights and shit like that and it's I don't know it's weird so yeah that's the only thing I really have to talk about is that like Randy Quaid finally lost his mind which doesn't amaze me and if you don't know who Randy Quaid is the last thing I remember him being in he was one of the pilots for Independence Day that Will Smith came out in and it was about the aliens and then he's he made some remark that he was finally gonna get back to the aliens and whatever for them abducting him I don't know so that's the last thing I remember him being in. So he's trying to get back in the States. I'm actually going to read up on the article and put a link in the description below. And of course, anyone who really knows me just enough will know that I fucking love Halloween. I love Halloween. Why? Because for some reason, it's always been like a really nostalgic holiday. And this is going back to the days of when I was a kid, like 25 years ago when I was a kid. And I remember specifically one year... My mother dressed up me and my siblings, and we would did this whole Wizard of Oz thing, and I was the scarecrow. For those of you who don't know me offline or IRL, um, I have a slight disability with my hips, and this actually caused a lot of problems when I was growing up in terms of like walking. So my mother thought it would be really cute to go ahead and dress me up as the scarecrow, since I was, you know, clumsy, anyways, and. I remember for Halloween, I was always my mama's little scarecrow, and, you know, I know a lot of people go ahead and like, oh, that's, you know, classic weirdo, whatever like that, but it actually brings back a lot of nostalgia, so it's like really nice to begin with, and my only thing concerning Halloween is just to be careful out there, be safe, you know, keep it a happy, fun holiday. It has its roots in like old stuff back and forth and everything, but the whole main point is just to stay safe. The weirdos are out there. The real danger is out there so yeah keep it happy the last thing i wanted to touch on was actually that the go the goosebumps movie is going to be coming out this weekend and i couldn't be more stoked and also more cautious because of the fact that jack black is coming out in it and i know they're gonna keep with the whole child's theme and everything but i'm a little worried because i don't know how he's gonna pull off rl stein in this and i actually saw jack black in the movie like the screenshots and i've actually seen pictures of rl stein he looks pretty much spot on I know what the basis of the movie is. For those of you who don't know, the whole thing behind the Goosebumps movie is supposed to be is what if the monsters from the series came to life and then somehow they're going to have to put them back. I don't even know how the monsters would have come out the book series anyways. So that's going to be a really interesting thing for me to see. You know, these were the ghouls and the ghosts and the monsters and the things that were bumping the night for me. You know, uh, vampire's breath like oh my god there might be that one kid who doesn't know that he's a vampire the abominable snowman in Pasadena like they don't have blizzards neither does Texas so for all I know it might be the abominable snowman of the freaking coastline and then the werewolf I had always been scared of werewolves because it's like they're they can walk around during the day and stuff like that it was a legit fear when I was a kid don't judge me too harshly anyways so yeah there's that going on I really want to see it because the whole thing of I used to be obsessed with these books as a kid and at the same time, it's like, it's been X amount of years since the last book went out, you know, and I don't know how they're going to do this. I mean, I know movie technology has gotten really good, and yet at the same time, people have gotten really misconstrued and been botching a lot of these franchises in the movies because there's too much to tell. There's too much that gets left out, and so they just kind of McDonald's that shit out, and it, it kind of gets messed up, you know? So anyways, that's all I really have for the news today. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get that article in the description below of uh, Randy Quaid that got arrested. There was also the basketball player. I can't believe I almost forgot this. 
who got arrested and his leg was broken. I don't follow sports. If you know me just a tad, like I said earlier, I don't follow sports. I don't follow it at all, except that he got arrested. This basketball player got his leg broken. As an athlete, obviously you need your legs. He got his leg broken because supposedly it was disorderly conduct. And then on top of that, they were trying to give him a plea bargain. And he said, uh, no, because of the fact that they were trying to get him to say he was guilty anyways. So because he has the money, he's actually fighting the police department on this. And it's getting odd because he's saying, no, he's innocent of this because he was trying to give a homeless man money. And they're trying to say, no, you were still resisting arrest. But it's like, how are you going to be resisting arrest if... Worst case scenario, peddler's law, I mean, you get a fine. You're not supposed to be arrested for a peddler's law. Here, um, for my local area, there's a peddler's law, but more so as in you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. Like, you can be fined on it unless they know for a fact that you're doing it for drug money, which is like really extreme circumstances. But to give a homeless person money is not against the law here in Texas, as far as I know anyways. So yeah, that's getting weird. I'm also going to post that one in the description below. I read it this morning, and it was just so weird. So um, I'm going to keep an eye on that one. I'm going to keep an eye on L.R.L. Stein and Jack Black. And for those of you out there, please stay safe this Halloween. I'm going to be posting videos. I'm going to be going back into my regular schedule. I'm over the slight bump that I have. And apparently, I'm being called by a munchkin warlord. I'll see all of y'all in the next transmission. For right now, stay safe, stay happy, stay cosmic. This is Analog signing off, and until next time, es tiempo infectar al mundo con muchos amor y muchos más de la luz. Later, guys.